So this is a basic block diagram of a UPS. Very, very simple. So uh, this is where the utility power would come in. And when I say utility power, that would be, the local utility here is Pico Energy. So they supply the, the power coming into that plug right there to us. And we pay dearly for it every month. And that power would come in here and would come into the UPS. This whole thing is the UPS. Everything from red down is in, inside the UPS box itself. And the power comes in and goes to a rectifier charger and basically takes the AC power and makes it into DC, something that the batteries can use. And we're constantly charging the batteries. And then we take that DC voltage and we convert it back to AC through an inverter. In the event that there's an issue with the UPS and it has a failure, it has a little built-in static switch and it'll transfer from UPS right over to utility power. In the event you have to do maintenance, there's another switch outside of that where you can actually close this switch and pull the whole UPS out and replace it if you had to. So like I was saying, this is the power flow for a UPS system. Power comes in from the wall through the charger, continues to charge the batteries from the batteries to the inverter. The inverter makes it from DC back to AC and then out to the computer load. In the event that there's a power outage, what happens is all these all these gray boxes here are de-energized. So you have no power going to your rectifier charger. You have no power going to the static switch. You have no power mm -hmm. going to the maintenance bypass. The only power that you have are the battery system. So the battery basically feeds the inverter. The inverter makes AC power and pumps it out to the computer load. 